Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and today I'm going to bring you guys the Leicester vs Chelsea match review. So it's just finished at the King Power Stadium, Leicester 2, Chelsea 2. A very entertaining game today at the King Power Stadium and a decent point against a good Chelsea side under Frank Lampard. But today I'm going to go for my general thoughts on the game and at the end of today's video I'll go for my player rating to one of the started today against Chelsea. Before getting into it, make sure a big thumbs up down below on today's video if you want to join this Leicester vs Chelsea match review. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Just want to say a big thank you for 800 subscribers. We were edging ever close to that 1k mark. So go link down below, hit the subscribe button, guys, because it is much, much appreciated. And while you're down there, turn on my channel for post notifications so you never miss any future videos on the channel just like this one. Follow my social medias, they'll be down there. Links to all of them will be in the description down below. Let me know your thoughts on today's game at the King Park Stadium in the comment section down below. But let's get into this Leicester vs Chelsea. Match review. So it has just finished at the King Power Stadium, Leicester 2, Chelsea 2. A very good point at home against a very good Chelsea side under Frank Lampard. A decent performance today. We could have got the three points, but overall, a point is probably a fair result. And it's a decent result coming out of this top four clash against Chelsea. But coming off that heartbreaking result last time out in the Carabao Cup semi final second leg at Villa Park, it was always going to be very difficult to respond after that heartbreaking defeat. Obviously, with the 90th minute winner, it was always going to be difficult to respond back in Premier League action today against a very good Chelsea side. Side. and to be honest to get a point to get a draw it's a very good result to bounce back after that defeat and obviously Chelsea they're, they're doing very well this season as well on the Frank Lampard very young squad and it's always going to be a difficult game and to get a point and probably being the better side it's a very convincing result by Leicester today. So today's result against Chelsea sends us another step closer to securing Champions League football for next season under Brendan Rodgers. Obviously Chelsea being a top four rival it was always going to be an important and a tricky game today at the King Power Stadium and to get a point and to keep that gap between Leicester and Chelsea nine points it's a brilliant result today and a very convincing result with the point today at the King Park Stadium. So Brandon Rodgers made two changes from the side it started last time out in that Carabao Cup semi-final second leg at Villa Park. Hamza Chowdhury came in for the injured Wilfred and Diddy and Jamie Vardy came in for Kelechi Iheanacho up from. So we brought a very strong side hoping to keep that consistent side obviously with the back four and mostly the midfield obviously. Wilfred and Diddy with that slight injury still getting precautions after that surgery he had. So Hamza Chowdhury came back in and obviously Jamie Vardy He's, he's back to fitness, so he came in for Kelechi and actually up front. But getting into the game itself, the away side started off the better side inside 10 minutes. Chelsea really dominated the opening proceedings, having a couple of chances here and there through the likes of Tammy Abraham. Leicester came into it a, a bit, but the only real chance came through Jamie Vardy in the first half for Leicester. A mistake from Chelsea, Vardy was set through, and a good save by Willy Caballero in the Chelsea net. But overall, the first half, it was mainly Chelsea, had a couple of chances as well towards the end of it. They caused Leicester a lot of problems from the cross, but overall, the first half was fairly dull. Not too many chances from either side. But moving into the second half, Chelsea started by far the better side. Frank Lampard must have gave his players a clear message to get a Leicester earlier on in the second half, and they did exactly that. Winning the corner about 40 seconds into the second half, very poor from Leicester and very poorly defended from the Fox as well, with the corner being taken. It was Rudiger who climbed tight to send it into the net and to give Chelsea the lead. A good header from him, low into the ground. No chance really for Schmeichel, and that gave Chelsea the lead about a minute into the second half, which is a very poor start for Leicester and Brendan Rodgers' men. But Leicester went down the other end, it was Harvey Barnes who ran at his defender, got past his man, a slight deflection on the shot which sent it past Willy Caballero to get Leicester back level about 10 minutes after Chelsea scored. Very good fight back from Leicester and that got Leicester level. Leicester continued to get out Chelsea trying to cause the away side some problems and it was Ben Chiuel who got his name on the score sheet for the second time this season. Poor goalkeeper from Caballero, Yuri Tillemans found by Chiuel who slotted it into the empty net and that put Leicester back in front. A very good goal by Leicester in the end and it was a good fighting spirit from Bernard Rodgers this man. But Chelsea went down the other end, won himself a free kick and it was guess who? It was Antonio Rudiger once again climbing high in the box with a beautiful header past Schmeichel. No chance of Schmeichel in goal really, looped into the top corner. Very poorly defended by Leicester again we'll get onto our set pieces later on in this video with the zonal marking and stuff like that but that guy got up Chelsea level and then Harvey Barnes went down the other end and had an absolutely huge chance to put it in and somehow he missed I'm not too sure how, but uh, it, was, it was really poor from Harvey Barnes. Good ball by Vardy across. All Barnes had to do was slide it into the corner. And somehow he put it wide. Les had a couple of other chances as well. But overall, a draw was probably a fair result. So overall, a draw was probably a fair result. Both sides went at each other, in particular in the second half. It was a very entertaining game as well. And overall, a, a point against Chelsea is very good in any season to keep Leicester in the top four and to keep that gap between Leicester and Chelsea in the top four, which is always guaranteeing Leicester Champions League football at this stage. But obviously, two Chelsea goals, both coming from set pieces, 
a bit easy for Chelsea to score into today's game in my opinion obviously both coming from the set pieces both coming from Antonio Rudiger hopefully we can clear that up obviously the, the, there is a bit of a break until the next game in the Premier League because of the winter break but the zonal marking that really showed today obviously with Rudiger yeah he got a lot of space to head it in and to be honest we need to clear that up obviously someone needs to get a Rudiger and to stop that aerial threat we have been struggling from crosses most recently so hopefully we can clear that up in training with the winter break coming up and hopefully we can bring a bit better defending into the Wolves game in the couple of weeks time but if there was a side to go on to win the game it probably would be Leicester in particular in the second half we had a lot of chances which we really did not take in particular Harvey Barnes Johnny Evans had a big chance Yuri Tillemans had a couple of chances as well and overall Leicester we had some big chances to take the lead and it and this could prove vital towards the end of the season. Today, we really could have got three points. But overall, like I said, a, a draw is probably a fair result. But on another day, Leicester really could have gone on to win the game and to get the three points. In particular, those two big chances, Harvey Bonds and Johnny Evans as well from the corner. But So hopefully, we can work on our shooting, bring that into the two huge games this month against Wolves and Manchester City. But that's it for my thoughts on the game. So let's go straight into my player ratings. This is where I rate each player's performance out of 10 from the side that started today at the King Power Stadium against Chelsea. Starts off in goal with Kasper Schmeichel. I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Obviously conceding two both from headers. Couldn't really do too much about the first one. The second one, it was a, it was a brilliant header from Rudiger. Very hard to save that. It looped over him into the top corner. Overall, a decent performance from Kasper. His distribution was a bit over here and there. But overall, it's a decent performance from Kasper. Made a couple of big saves as well. So yeah, 7 out of 10 for Kasper in goal. But moving straight into the back four, start off at right back with Ricardo Pereira. I'm going to give the Portuguese international a 7 out of 10. I thought he could have got forward a bit more just like Ben Chiro did, but defensively he couldn't do anything about the two Chelsea goals. So overall, a fairly decent performance from Ricardo at right back today. Moving into the two centre backs, start off with the right one with Johnny Evans. I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. I thought Johnny Evans had a very good performance today. Obviously, the two Chelsea goals are very difficult to defend against if you are going for that zonal marking type of thing. Obviously, he had a big chance in the second half as well, which he, he probably really should, should have taken. But overall, a very good performance defensively from Johnny Evans today. So, 8 out of 10 for him. Moving into the other centre back with Kagala Sunju. I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. A solid performance from Kagala Sunju today. He looks a little bit shaky defensively at times, but overall, it's a solid performance. Obviously, he's not the biggest of centre half, so he could do too much about the Rudiger goal. Obviously, Rudiger is a, is, is a physical centre back. He got in front of, of our defence and obviously got the goal. Not the best performances from Kagala Sunju today. I've seen him have, have better games, but overall, a very good performance and a solid performance for the Turkish international. And finally, moving into the left back position with Ben Chiwell. I'm going to give him an 8 out and obviously he got his name on the score sheet today that's that's his second goal of the season his first goal did in that nine a win against Southampton but overall Chidi looked back to his best today he got forward as well obviously with the two goals from Chelsea he's not the tallest of players and he really couldn't do too much about the two goals obviously coming from Rudiger both from set pieces but overall a very good performance from Chile today at left back now moving into midfield, starts off in that defensive role with Hamzik Chalji. Obviously he came in for the injured Wilfred and Diddy. Wilfred and Diddy was cute to stop, but Hamzik Chalji came in and had a very good game in my opinion. So, so I'm going to give Hamzik Chalji a 7 out of 10. Obviously he did what he needed to do in midfield, breaking up the play. A couple of mistakes here and there, but overall a solid performance from Hamza today in midfield. So yeah, 7 out of 10 for him. Moving in front of him with Yuri Tillemans. I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Obviously he, he got the two assists today, two very good assists as well from him. But I thought he could have done a bit more in the final third as well. Obviously he had a couple of shots himself as well, which is very promising to see. So yeah, a good performance from Yuri, 7 out of 10 for the Belgium international. And alongside him with James Madison, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. I thought that the youngster went a bit missing in today's game. Obviously he didn't get holding the ball as much as he did against Aston Villa last time out in the Carabao Cup. I thought he could have offered us a bit more. But overall, it's a solid performance from Madison. He made a couple of good passes here and there. And overall, a decent performance from him, so 7 out of 10. And now finally moving into the front three, starts off in the left wing position with Harvey Barnes. I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. I thought he had another brilliant performance today out wide in that left wing position. Getting on the score sheet once again, that's 3-3 three three for Harvey Barnes in the league as well. So very promising from him. Obviously his goal, slight bit of luck, it took a, uh, took a big deflection, sending it over Woody Caballero. But earlier on in the season, would he have shot? Probably not. He probably would have gone to a pass such as Madison or Tiedemans in midfield. So the confidence is really shining through with Harvey Barnes at the moment. And it's very good to see. And that showed once again today with a very good performance. And obviously he got his name on the score sheet once again. So 8 out of 10 for him. Moving into the other winger with a Yosi Perez. I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 as well. A very good performance from Perez out wide once again. Him and Harvey Barnes most recently have been very good so far this year really to be honest. Last couple of games then too have really been shining through and getting their names on the score sheet. A very good performance from Perez today. 
obviously at wide, he, he could have even do it a, a bit more in my opinion, but Perez, a good performance, getting into some spaces, causing Chelsea a lot of problems. So yeah, very good performance from Perez, say to 8 out of 10. I finally moving up front with Jamie Vardy, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. A pretty poor performance from Vardy today, obviously he got replaced by Kaleshi in that show in the second half and overall Vardy has been, he has been struggling recently. In 2020 as well, he's been he's been pretty poor for that, he hasn't scored in 2020 as well. I know he's, his wife's had a baby, that could be a factor, but overall hopefully Vardy can rest up in this winter break, get back to his normal self against Wolves and Manchester City, they're both big games, hopefully Vardy can come back. Obviously he had that shot in the first half and that was literally it from Vardy. He made the, big, he made the pass to Harvey Barnes as well in the second half, but Overall, not much from Vardy today. Hopefully, he can bounce back in the coming months in the Premier League as the season comes to an end. But that's it for the Leicester versus Chelsea match review. So, if you like, if you did enjoy today's video, subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said earlier, on my edge is ever close to that 1,000 subscriber mark. So, go down below, hit the subscribe button, guys. Let me know your thoughts on today's game in the comment section down below. It's the winter break. There's going to be some different content coming out on the channel as well. Our next game is Wolves away in two weeks' time. So, get ready for that one, guys. But hopefully, you did enjoy today's video. Make sure you leave a like, like I said earlier, on, guys. Bye, Miss Sports. So, and I'll see you all in my next video. Peace out.